In St. Pete, there won't be as many officers on the streets. The department says they have to move officers to schools because of the new school safety bill that was just signed into law. I want to now get an idea of what this all means for neighborhoods. ABC Action News anchor Jasmine Stiles joined us now from St. Pete. Jasmine, a lot of adjustments are being made now with this change. Absolutely right, Dia. Chief Anthony Holloway sent an email to his staff here at St. Pete PD saying that he'll have to remove several officers from their divisions to fill the gaps, and that includes disbanding the entire gang unit. He'll also be uh, cutting more than half of the community police officers to put them onto school campuses instead. In total, 33 officers will be pulled from the streets and into your kid's school. Now, Holloway hopes this won't affect the crime rate, which is the lowest it's been in 17 years. But one St. Pete resident thinks that's exactly what the move will do. If they cut that, I think that might um, there might be more gang activity and things like that. Now, those changes will take effect on July 1st, and we did talk to Chief Holloway about how he feels about this. He says he'd like to rehire those positions with more resources and time in the future. Live in St. Pete, I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.